Hello there, how are you? I hope all is well and everything is going absolutely amazing in your life. Welcome back on my channel. You're listening to Light Channelings once again and today I'm back with a new psychic reading for all of you. It's for Twin Flames and Faded Soulmates especially and this channeling starts with an appearance of number 555. Before starting with the psychic reading, I'd first like to express my heartfelt gratitude for all of those people and to all of those people who have supported my channel, who are showering me with so much love, abundance and their generosity. Thank you so, so, so very much and I hope that you be blessed by the grace of God and all of your wishes come true for your highest good. I wish that, that you receive the help, the guidance, the prosperity, the abundance that you need, like how you're sharing with me times tenfold. You're all in my prayers and I hope the best for you and for your future. Thank you so much for your lovely donations and your thank you notes. It makes me feel wonderful and elated when I read those sweet little thank you notes from you it makes my day and it's just invaluable it's priceless thank you so so much thank you so 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 very much for everything you're doing especially for the support you're showing me and the appreciation you're showing me for my channelings my readings my guidance and everything that we are doing here thanks again now i'll ja jump right back to the channeling the main message the channeling is uh, no no i'm sorry it's not a channeling it's a psychic reading this comes in three different parts where we will talk about first as to what happened recently coming from karmics then second what was the outcome of that situation or what's going to be the overall outcome of the issues the challenges and the problems or hindrances that you are facing right now and the third part of this reading is uh, about how your person is currently feeling about you and what's going on in their mind state and in their heart space. So we'll start with the first part of this psychic reading. Recently what happened was uh, whoever your person is or was romantically involved with, for a lot of you it was a relationship that your person was in within or involved into and which recently got ended because your person made a decision to pursue the connection they have with you because they've realized that you are the one for them or it was simply the time for that connection to end. Now, whoever this karmic person is, it's going to be a woman in a lot of your cases, whereas your counterpart, your masculine twin is a man, literally a man in a male body. And you would be a female in a female body, the feminine energy, okay? It's not gender specific, so you don't have to force it on yourself. Just take it how it resonates as i said as i clarified for most of you it's going to be a woman who is playing the role of the karmic person in your situation or connection so this girl this woman uh, is very very jealous and envious of you and the connection you do share with each other she was someone your person chose over you because of uh, getting pushed by their toxic friends or family members to pursue her because for them she looked like a trophy or something that they can show off in the society or act or feel proud about themselves that she was there in their uh, friend's life or son's life or in their life just like that but what happened is that all of these people's toxicity came out at front and 
your person was able to see what mistake they made and that's when they decided to part ways with this woman with this person it if it can be a male if it's a same sex connection on their end or was a same sex connection but then still the energy is the feminine on the karmic's end is of the feminine not the divine feminine the karmic feminine i'm talking about so whatever happened happened and your person decided to move on and come back towards you or they might have just explained or announced that they are not interested in taking that relationship any further instead they want to spend the rest of their life with you with the one they share a soul spiritual connection with which pissed this woman this girl off literally pissed her off her hostility animosity vindictiveness increased to a level where she was not able to handle how she was thinking and feeling about you and about the overall situation so what she did she decided to take revenge on you or or your or on your person or she thought about how to make your person mistreat you or cheat on you which is eventually going to cause a longer separation in between both of you or it may just cause you to shut the door on your person's face once and for all and then there won't be any looking back or going back into each other's life that's what she thought so what she did out of hate out of jealousy animosity and um hostility that she's feeling right now because your person left her or a parted way parted ways with her to come towards you or pursue this connection that they have with you because they've realized you are the only one who has or have loved them truly and unconditionally no one was ever able to replace that or come anywhere near to match the level of the intensity and the purity of love you two share with each other that's what they realized recently that's what made them uh, take that important decision in their life but she's not happy about that because uh, it's like defeat for her she was thinking of everything uh, like as if a game is being played on and she's supposed to be the winner of that game and you are supposed to be the loser in that game she wants to win over she wanted to win over but how destiny played itself out she found herself in the same spot where she was trying to put you in which is not easy for her to accept or digest so what she thought is what about luring your counterpart in back or tempting him or her back into making them or tricking them to make a sexual relationship or connection with her once again because because she knows that you are not the type of woman who's going to accept such things or she knows right now the situation between you and your counterpart is very very sensitive and she just wanted to take advantage of the adversity that's going on and the conflict conflict that is there in between both of you right now you're not in a mood to trust your person back at all but instead they are trying very hard i mean your counterpart your person is trying very hard to show you telepathically and through other realms intuitively that now they are serious about this connection with you and they don't want to mess it up again they want to start a family with you and by no means they can wreck it up like this by getting involved with someone else sexually because you are not going to accept or tolerate that anymore and this woman knows that very well so that's what she thought about doing 
at the first place and she initiated the plan implemented it actually literally but what happened is that your angels your guides and ascended masters intervened she almost succeeded in tempting your person back into making a sexual connection with her once again but it didn't happen and they did not pay any attention to it they rejected the offer and on top of that they might have scolded her or lashed out at her for even trying to bring that up once again after they broke up or decided to part ways especially if your person declared that they are not interested anymore and there is no love and they know who is the one for them and they are going to pursue that they clearly understood that it was a trap and it's not for their highest good at all to get into it back once again after they've tried so i'm sorry after they've tried so hard to come out of that situation or that toxic connection it was not a good choice it was not a good decision at the first place and they wouldn't want to bring in more heart ache heartbreak or pain suffering or misery on your end as well because your person knows that you can somehow pick up when something is not right something is not going right that's why you might have uh, felt this energy filled with ang anguish and um, rage restlessness and it's it's a mixed kind of feeling when you feel extremely angry annoyed and irritated all of a sudden but at the same time you're feeling extremely sad and wanting to cry it's a very mixed feeling you get when something is off on your person's end or there is something sneaky or deceptive going on this is something which might have triggered you recently where you might have even shed some tears and old wounds may even have surfaced for you to feel or deal with once again this is why it happened because this woman tried to set a trap once again to make your person do the same exact thing which brought the separation in between both of you or to give you even more pain one minute just one minute yes to give you even more pain with the same wound that you're dealing with right now or on the same wound that you're trying to heal right now she just wanted to take revenge she just wanted to show who she is and what she is on the other hand she might have just uh she might have just tried to do it again out of ignorance because for her you are a nobody and she doesn't think that your feelings your emotions are even worthy of care or consideration now this might trigger you hard so please pay attention and keep yourself calm and collected do not get dragged away or carried away with these negative energies or attacks okay the good news is that she didn't succeed in doing that instead she received a small karmic hit coming from your person and the big hit is on its way towards her and by that big hit i mean the karma that universe is going to hit her with and it's not going to be some small thing that's she'll have to face 
it's not going to be that small she was trying to wreck someone else's life she was trying to ruin someone someone else's relationship that's so divine and people are cr- one second people are crying for each other they are longing for each other your life is in shambles here and you are going through so much all alone and on top of that if someone is if someone is going to act this cruel to you they'll have to pay a very big price and this woman is right now paying a very big price she has met with some sort of loss or she may have started to lose her beauty or her uh, vitality or anything with her appearance that was she was that she was using to do this to you and your person and cause this uh, mishap into your life this disaster that she wanted to bring into but that's not enough more is coming towards her and she just needs to prepare herself now to face what's coming she already knows that it's coming intuitively she has felt that because universe has given her some signs that she has crossed her limits and now it's time to pay the price for some of you she may have already started to feel guilty about what she did because of her ego arrogance pride or just this ridiculous attitude she has because of what she is or who she is or what kind of position she is on to whatever it is we won't go into details or depth of that it was just a message that universe wanted to convey to you just know if you uh, are seeing signs or pictures of dogs especially combined or coupled with your person's name you have nothing to worry about they did not cheat on you they did not betray you once more or they did not broke your trust once again instead they are trying very hard to make this connection work and make you believe once again rebuild your trust that now they are serious and it's not easy on your end to believe that we all know about that very clearly but uh, you are advised not to react on the situation at all gain more information before reacting saying or doing anything because the situation is not what it looks like it has uh, gotten twisted or there may have been things which are hidden from you so please pay attention and do not jump to any conclusions just yet that's the message that universe wants to say to you other than that just know that god is working on your behalf behind the scenes and everything is being placed at its perfect place okay this was the first part of this cycle reading the second part the second part of the cycle reading i'm sorry give me one second the second part of the cycle reading talks about making wrongs right and giving people what they actually deserve which means karma justice and judgment everyone in your situation whoever is involved be it you your person the karmics your family their family your friends their friends your siblings their siblings your friends their friends whoever is involved actively involved in this connection or in this whole scenario everyone is now about to receive the karma for what they've been doing now when i say karma i mean the results and the outcomes you get after what you do okay if you did right or positive what's going to come towards you is going to be of a positive nature it's going to be abundance prosperity money love luck luck success and things of that sort if you did wrong to someone or if you're trying to purposely deliberately intentionally cause havoc in other people's life which the karmics were doing now they will start to receive and i'd say reap what they've sown that's 
sweet short message which universe wanted to say universe simply wanted to say that now justice is going to get served now justice will happen you will get what you rightfully deserve and they will get what they rightfully deserve which means karma okay whatever you're doing if you're helping people if you're healing people if you're assisting people if you're focused on your inner work if you're healing yourself that's the kind of results you are going to attract and manifest into your life and the people who are trying to wreck your life or cause a big mess for you create problems for you may even have tried to separate you two on purpose or are just being jealous envious hostile towards you for no reason and are trying to kick you down now they will receive the karma for that okay this is the second part third part I'm just trying to keep things short because uh, uh, I think it's better that way. You would have already understood the message. It's it's not necessary to stretch things for no reason. Yes, when there is a need to go into details of the message, I try to go into as much depth as I can, or as much it as much as it is needed. But when it's not needed. I don't think it's necessary to, you know, dig deeper or find things out. It's it's just what it is. Whenever a old cycle ends and a new one is about to become, begin, not become, the karma gets served to everyone and as well as justice so now we'll talk about the third part of this channeling the third part talks about it's it's somewhere connected and related with the first part because whatever happened happened because your person is now taking baby steps towards you and they're making progress they are moving out of toxic connections walking away from toxic people that's why those people are becoming restless and that's why they want to get even with you or your counterpart that's why they are trying to act like this or they are behaving like this so your person knows that very well the first thing here is that your person knows that very well and your person knows how it made you feel at the first place they are very well they are very well aware about what you're going through because they can intuitively telepathically feel your pain and your agony and your longing your yearning for them you might not even be showing that or you might have just stopped showing your emotions you may have just shut yourself down but still they can feel you they can feel everything you're feeling when you're happy they can feel that when you're sad they can feel that when you're longing for them they can feel that when you're feeling the loss of this connection they can feel that as well it's happening on both of your ends if you've shed tears recently over them they know they felt that they cried with you wherever they are whoever they are with they did that with you they felt that they felt that tear rolling down from your eyes they felt it they can feel that you are feeling stuck in your life they can feel that you so want to give up on them and on this connection but you are feeling stuck they know that they can feel that and that makes them feel like a jerk like a failure like a insane 
human being or individual who turned so cruel for someone like you and almost made your life like a hell a living hell nobody's trying to act dramatic here and nobody's trying to exaggerate anything what do you actually think about when this word comes to your mind a living hell go as per your own definition of that the suffering the feminine a feminine divine feminine has to endure on this journey feels like a living hell at times that's what i'm talking about and your person your counterpart somewhere has this deep guilt within themselves because they know they are the reason why their divine feminine had to go through or feel as if she is in a living hell somewhere they have caused that to her they have the guilt of that but still love remains the same in between both of you in between two of them dm and df that's how you label them i don't know for whom it's going to be but i see a sign that someone is about to reunite in the very near future with their twin someone a lucky one congratulations already in advance i wish that you have a blessed reunion with your twin and i would i would wish and pray that it's 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 a permanent one now and you won't have to go through any more separations or heartbreak again it's going to happen in the very near future okay so just keep everything prepared i don't think that's needed because if the energies have already aligned for you you're already prepared and you're already ready yeah coming back to the main message they are crying with you and for you like how you are here they are also feeling the loss of this connection as much as you do it's also being shown that some of you are about to reunite and may even go on a date it's not going to be a fancy one instead um you might act like strangers total strangers with each, with each other and you might just avoid talking much instead you would want your person to understand your feelings on their own by looking into your eyes you wouldn't talk much with words but still you will communicate with e- with each other on an emotional level it might even bring up a lot of suppressed emotions that you have for each other you may even cry a little bit that's okay it, it's going to happen your person wants to change everything now they are feeling burdened already with the guilt that they have on their heart and now they don't want any more of negativity toxicity arguments conflict or chaos in between both of you they just don't want it anymore they just want peace in this connection while you two are separated they feel as if their life has no meaning and there is nothing in their life that's ever going to bring them happiness if you're not there your presence is everything your presence brings in happiness for them 
it doesn't matter how much money they've got in their bank account or if they have nothing at all your presence is what makes them happy and even though they've got hundreds and millions of dollars in their bank account and you're not there they won't ever be happy so you know what i'm talking about it doesn't matter if they are rich or poor they'll never be happy if you are not there in their life because you are the strength for them you are their strength as well as weakness you are the love of their life and they miss what they share with you <clears throat> they are very emotional right now they are in their feels over you they keep on reminiscing over your shared moments and memories they try to remember what you said your words keep lingering around in their mind they remember how you smelled what perfume you used to wear your smile your eyes everything your hair the fragrance of your hair they want to meet with you they want to communicate and let their heart out they want to say what's on their mind about you and what's in their heart they just want to make everything right now with you that's what they want to do that's what they are going to do they are not happy in their life at all okay so this was the psychic reading i had for you today i hope you enjoyed listening to me if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to listen to more of what i have or what i come up come up with every single day along with that if you'd like to support my channel you can simply follow through with the link given in the description box below that's for international listeners if you are a indian resident you may have to write me back personally or on my given email address i'll send you a separate link personally i'll have to do that actually because right now um, it's not possible for me to provide the link here in the description box below okay so that that's all for now i'll be back very soon till that time please take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye